What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morris. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about technology news, reviews, and tutorials. And today I have a more newsy video. I did another computer build and it was awesome. It wasn't on this channel. It was actually on the NVIDIA GeForce channel. It was a part of GeForce Garage and I did the build with Dwight, who is the host over there. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about my new computer build and just kind of share some information about the build because I figured y'all would be interested in that. And I'm so excited to share it because it looks amazing and it's beautiful and it works so well. It's so, so gorgeous and durable and consistent, and I'm so happy with it. So make sure to watch the build video on the NVIDIA GeForce channel. That link is down below, as well as there's a card if you click on that little I up in the corner, or it might pop up for you. I'm not sure how YouTube works sometimes, especially not on mobile, but it's over there. So you can always click on the video that way, and I'll try to link it at the end of this video as well. So you have plenty of ways to access the NVIDIA GeForce video, and subscribe over there too if you aren't subscribed already ready. Now before I get into today's video, I did want to thank a couple of people. I wanted to thank Siggy for supporting me with some caffeine over at buymeacoffee.com slash snubs and also Dustin and Edward for supporting me over on patreon.com slash Shannon Morse. If you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, you get access to a bunch of digital photography, you get hangout perks, you get physical rewards in the mail depending on which level you decide to pledge at. So there's plenty of awesome little bonus items that I make sure that my patrons get because y'all are amazing bosses and I appreciate you and I want to show you my gratitude in whatever way I can. So definitely check that out if you are interested in getting access to a bunch of perks. Now my computer is currently sitting on my computer desk in my home office so I'm going to take you over there and show you all the awesome details. So everything you see here is on PC Part Picker. I did create a whole PC Part Picker list so you can go over there and you can build your own, which is similar to this one. Always make sure your components are compatible. But the entire theme of this build was Sailor Moon and I wanted to go for a more minimalist approach to Sailor Moon, so not like overly crazy or anything. I didn't wanna mod the entire case, but we did add in some really, really cute cute and really interesting additions to really make the colors and make the Sailor Moon aspects stand out. So the difference with this one is I went from that mini ITX board in the 280X case, which I did a full video on last year, to the full-size ATX motherboard in this Corsair 680X. The new additions include adding 32 gigs of memory, not that I needed it, but now I have a full 64. We upgraded to the ASUS ROG Strix X570E Gaming ATX AM4 motherboard, and that one can be upgraded to a Ryzen 3000 in the future. Not sure if the future CPUs that haven't been announced yet of Ryzen 4000 models for desktop will also be compatible. Hopefully they will be because that would be really cool if I could just upgrade to one of those maybe later in 2020. I don't know. We'll see what gets announced. And we also added an Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro capture card so that I can plug in consoles or plug in any additional accessories or components and stream things on Twitch. Now let's talk about the additions that we made that are completely themed around Sailor Moon because Sailor Moon is life and I love everything Sailor Moon. So first off we have these vinyls and these are very long pieces of vinyl which are this gorgeous navy blue and these are the same exact color as the Fuku collar or the costume collar that Sailor Moon wears as well as her school uniform. So it comes from two different uh, outfits that Sailor Moon or Usagi wears. There's also an embroidered brooch bow sticker down at the bottom. This is something that I actually added after we did the build video because I wanted to cover up the Corsair branding which was slightly cut off by the vinyls at the bottom so I just wanted to clean it up a little bit with something else that came from Sailor Moon's outfit. So this brooch bow sticker actually came straight from the Sailor Moon store. So this is a legitimate licensed piece of Sailor Moon memorabilia. The window etching on the front 
include Sailor Moon in front of a crescent moon. And we also did the color scheme behind it to match the colors from Sailor Moon. So you got pinks and yellows. And uh, this was actually probably the scariest part because if anything went wrong, like if I left the etching paste on the window too long, or if we didn't wipe it off of all the places like it should be, anything like that, like it could create bubbles. There could be additional dots on the screen. It could mess up the plastic or the steel around the window. So there was a lot that could have gone wrong, but nothing went wrong. So I was really happy with the etching. Uh, I think I could have been a little bit more smoother with applying it to the front of the window so that it would be a bit smoother. But as far as covering what needed to be covered and not getting etching paste anywhere else, I did great. So I was very, very happy with that. And now I want to etch everything. Is that bad? I don't know. I could open an Etsy store or something. People buy etched Etsy things, right? Okay, back to the build. Uh, we also have custom cable colors for the GPU, the motherboard power, and the PCIe. You will notice that these change a little bit depending on which cables we're looking at. But the main theme is again around Sailor Moon. So we have whites, blues, we have some pinks in there, and then for the main cable, we have yellows, and the yellow is to match her hair. And then, one of my favorite parts, this is absolutely stunning and I adore this thing. It is so cool. I'm so amazed with it. It looks incredible. This is a logo backplate that goes on the GPU and then it has side facing LEDs. So these LEDs shine out to the edges and then they also shine through the Sailor Snubs or Sailor Moon logo, which is written at the very bottom in Japanese on this backplate. It is so, so freaking cool. I absolutely adore this thing. It is so pretty. And it was so exciting being able to see my logo, my Sailor Snubs logo that my friend Svetlana drew for me, who, by the way, if you read DramaCon or if you're currently reading like the Awkward series, she wrote those too. She drew all of those and they're in like Barnes and Noble stores. So she's amazing. I love her. Shout out, girl, you're awesome. But anyway, she drew this piece of art and it's specifically for my Sailor Snubs character, uh, this Sailor Moon character that like she helped me create. And it's so amazing just being able to see my own personal piece of art inside this case and kind of integrated into the case itself. And not only that, but the LEDs on this thing plug right into the Corsair IQ technology and software. So I can make it match all of the colors from the rest of the case. And I just thought that was such a beautiful little piece and uh, it's so precious. I absolutely love it so much. And I wanna have a back plate with my logo on it for every build that I ever do now, even if I ever have something other than a 2080 Ti, cause it's amazing. And lastly, as far as building on Nvidia's GeForce Garage, it was such a fun experience. I have never watched build videos online. I've never watched any tutorials about doing builds. So there's a lot of things that I just kind of guess whenever I do my own PC builds and I hope that I get right. And I do make mistakes over time, of course. I, anybody would if you don't necessarily come into it with any prior knowledge. So it was really fun being able to get on set with Dwight and see how he does a computer build because he has so much experience. He does like 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 builds per year. It's insane how many builds he does, but it's his full-time job. So of course he's going to do that many. For me, I'm just doing it for myself and sometimes for my husband. So I only get to do maybe one or two a year. So there's a lot of things that he was bringing to my build that I didn't even know about, like the custom cables or the GPU backplate or his specific way of organizing cables. So it was really cool to see all of these interesting pieces of knowledge that he was able to provide and quite a few of those I'm definitely going to be bringing to my future builds as well. So I learned a thing or two, which was really nice. So all in all, it was a wonderful experience. Dwight was awesome. GeForce Garage was a really great experience. And since I did a build on that show, I even got a little custom sticker that I could stick on my computer that is the GeForce Garage sticker, which only goes on their builds. So that made me feel pretty special. Uh, I did want to mention too that Corsair 
Corsair provided the case. And I also provided most of the components from my previous build in that 280X from ASUS. And then NVIDIA provided the new items that went into this new PC. So I wanted to thank all of those different parties since everybody helped donate to this build and make it amazing. So that's about it for today's video. I just wanted to share my experience and talk through all of the new components and share my new build with you because I think it's amazing. And I wanted to give a shout out over to GeForce Garage. So if you are interested in seeing more content like this, definitely subscribe down below. Don't forget to comment and like this video if you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Shannon Morris. Thank you so much to my s'mores, my patrons, and my buy me a coffee fellows. I'll see you next time. Bye.